Today we're going to be settling a debate, AMD versus Nvidia for streaming with a $750 gaming PC. This is going to be an awesome build featuring the Ryzen 5 7500F and we're going to be testing in live streaming which GPU should go with, the RX 7600 or RTX 4060, but we got to give a big thanks to today's sponsor Mondo for sending over a bunch of awesome streaming gear to allow us to properly test this streaming PC. Big shout out again to Mono for sponsoring this video and allowing us to test live streaming on a $750 PC with AMD versus Nvidia. They were nice to send over some of their streaming gear like this monocaster audio mixer which is gonna be really awesome for sound effects audio control and a lot of things we'll be testing during the live stream portion of today's video and of course no streaming setup is complete without a microphone this is the pd 200x microphone and mic arm combo that you can pick up today if you want to get into live streaming if you haven't heard of mono before mono is one of the best companies in terms of live streaming on a budget while also offering really high quality audio this right here is a mono microphone we use for all our voiceovers here on the youtube channel and we absolutely love the quality they deliver for the price. You know we're all about price performance and Mono's definitely got you covered. So definitely check those links down below to see the products we will be featuring in today's video. But let's not waste any more time. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the PC, put it together and dive into some live streaming testing with this Mono gear to show you guys which is better, AMD or Nvidia. Shout out again to Mono for sponsoring today's video. We will be diving into the streaming gear they sent over to test this PC and live streaming. That's the main focus of today's video later on in the video. But let's go and talk about the main core components of this PC build and then talk about the GPU options, the 7600 RT X4060 and how we made $750 PCs for both of them. For the CPU, we have the Ryzen 5 7500F 6 core 12 thread. We paid 132 bucks for this. And the reason I'm telling you guys the price is because right now the 7600, which is my favorite CPU is over $200 again, pretty consistently. So saving like almost $70 on almost the same CPU without integrated graphics is very worth it because we're using GPUs in today's video. Now the drawback with the 7500F is it doesn't come with a stock cooler, but who needs a stock cooler? We got this very nice ID cooling SC214 XT in ARGB. You can also get it in black as well, but it's an awesome cooler because it is only $17. For $120, the ASRock B650 MPG Lightning. This is an awesome motherboard. This one actually has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well, but you can see it has some good features. We actually have some heat sinks. We got uh, two four pins for the CPU. We have four RAM slots, so a fairly upgradable board, and especially with how power efficient all of Ryzen really is, you could even flash this board and go Ryzen 9000 series later on. Now this RAM, guys, you just can't beat. $80 for 32 gigs of DDR5. It is 5600 megahertz and it is non-RGB, but I mean, it's just, it's 80 bucks for DDR5 that was at one point over $130 for 32 gigs. So this is a really good deal. It's also porous. I got it. I just got to shout that out every time. Uh, so pretty good heat dissipation. It's gonna be really good for this build and a good upgrade as well. And it's gonna have some longevity to it as well. This is one of the cheapest Gen 4 drives that you can get very readily. And also you can trust this drive because we've used it so many times. The MP44L, one terabyte. You can get it in two terabytes as well, but coming in at 56 bucks or less, it's an awesome Gen 4 SSD and you don't have to worry about like cooling or anything because most of these motherboards are gonna have heat sinks on them so it'll stay nice and chilly. Now for the graphics card for the AMD build and again we'll talk about the 4060 here in a minute this is the XFX RX 7600 from well XFX it's the Swift 210 model this comes in around $249 which you think is really good price to performance and it's 7000 series AMD it comes with new streaming features and 8 gigs of VRAM perfect for a $750 PC but we also are gonna be testing it with an RTX 4060 which I don't even know which model we're gonna go with yeah, we're gonna go to pcbros.tech or PC Selling Business, buy a PC today if you don't wanna build one, use Kotosi Bros to save 3%, and we're gonna find one on the shelf and swap it with this graphics card to see if the 4060 makes sense. Now, it is about 30 to $40 more expensive to go with the 4060. That was honestly the closest new NVIDIA GPU price that makes sense with the 7600, but if you do a little bit of modification to this build, if you want it to be 750 bucks, you can get a slightly cheaper case, save yourself about 20 bucks with a really basic case. You could drop this cooler for a stock cooler, save yourself about 10 bucks there, and then you'll get really close or you could just dive into the used market and buy a 4060 used for close to the same price as this GPU. I would recommend the second option in terms of getting a really nice build and buying used to save some money, but we really got to see if it's even worth going at the 4060 or just stick with this GPU. We'll dive into the testing later. And for the power supply, good old CEO tap, 650 watt, 80 plus gold. This power supply has plenty of watts for this graphics card and the 4060, and that 4060 doesn't use the ATX 3.0 connector, so we don't only need to opt for an ATX 3.0 power supply for either one of these builds. And these power supplies come in at 45 bucks, making them good value for the money. 
And lastly, the meta case that everyone uses, especially us over at PC Bros and now more on the channel, the Okinos Aqua 3. Nice micro HX case with three RGB fans pre-installed. It's a very nice fish tank design that a lot of people know and love. And um, yeah, it comes in a price point of 59 bucks. Really cannot beat it right now for new cases on Amazon with prime shipping. So yeah, obviously we had to go with this case for this build. And all in all, a little over 750, right around like 759 pre-tax. This build is gonna be really awesome for entry level 1440p gaming and in today's video, 1080p live streaming. Well, let's go ahead and build this PC, test it in its configuration, confirm that the 7600 makes sense, and then see maybe the 4060 makes more sense for you at home. We'll test that as well in some live streaming. I'm excited to see which one will come out on top. Let's get to building. All right, guys, now that we have the PC built, let's go ahead and go over the streaming setup we're gonna be using, which was made possible by our friends at Mono for sponsoring today's video. This microphone is their PD200XS, which comes with the microphone and this microphone arm and the shock mount all in one package, making it very easy to set up. It does work via USB or XLR. USB would be the easiest option if you don't wanna get the mixer that we'll talk about over here in just a second, and it will work perfectly fine, have really good audio. If you guys have seen any of our ad voiceover or anytime we ever do voiceovers, things like GPU benchmark videos or things like that, we're always using mono microphones in our voiceover room and they sound absolutely awesome for the price. That is the biggest selling point here for mono is they're not overly expensive compared to other streaming gear on the market. And if you're somebody who's on a budget, let's say you wanna get a budget live streaming PC, 750 bucks and you wanna get into live streaming, you don't wanna spend a fortune, you can definitely get a bunch of mono streaming gear to get you up and running and have a really good experience without sacrificing much. And of course, for RGB lovers, look at all that RGB on this microphone. It does have a volume knob built in as well with the mute button if you are using it in USB mode. And overall, for a starter package, if you are getting into live streaming, and even if you have already been in live streaming and you're rocking a really old USB microphone, this is a really good option to upgrade to. Now, as I mentioned, we are not gonna be using the USB functionality of this microphone today. We're actually gonna be using the XLR one, which if you do end up picking up their Monocaster G1 mixer setup here, you will need to get an XLR cable to plug in, but they're quite affordable. We could definitely get one using the link down below. But this mixer does some really awesome things. It's ideally great for setting up a two PC setup, but realistically nowadays, you don't necessarily need a two PC setup if you're starting out. And I'm pretty passionate about that. We've made some videos on this topic before, but it works great with a single PC setup if you want to control your audio much better. It does come with 48 volt phantom power built in to power pretty much any microphone on the market that you'd want to use with this, whether it's a mono microphone or your own microphone that you have with volume control built in, gain knobs, reverb, and also monitoring that you can use, which we will be using as well. When you plug this up via USB to your computer, it pops up as a sound device so you can listen to your gameplay and your microphone audio through one source and your live stream audience can hear all the changes you do on the fly. We also have a noise reducer button built in so you can reduce background noise, very simple to do there. There's also a fun voice changer, which I'm very excited to show you guys what that sounds like. And it also has a bunch of RGB as well, looking really nice. And the ability to control your audio in, in terms of your music or sound that you're having happen in game. With these very satisfying volume sliders, you really have no problem controlling your stream and having a good time doing so, I will say. So big shout out again to Mono for sponsoring this streaming setup. If you guys are trying to build out your streaming setup and maybe copy this PC, whether you're going AMD or Nvidia, Mono 
Bono has a lot of awesome stuff for you guys if you are starting on your live streaming journey or just looking for a budget upgrade. Mono definitely has you covered, so definitely check those links down below. But now that we've shown you guys the streaming setup, it is time to test with AMD. I'll go ahead and show you guys the OBS settings we're currently running because we are mainly focused on using the hardware encoder on AMD. And these are currently the settings we are running. We are running the hardware encoder, 8,000 kilobits per second, basically the max that Twitch will support. And we will be live streaming to our Toasty Bros bot account, which is a Twitch account that we use to live stream too. So we'll actually be live streaming and showing you guys a recording at the same time. And uh, yeah, we'll get raw quality that you can compare back and forth. And you guys will get to see the quality of the live stream versus us using a capture card. So you can determine for yourself, is the AMD option viable and saving a bit of money and getting more GPU performance make more sense for you? Or should you opt for the RTX 4060 because Nvidia is so great for live streaming? We asked our live streaming to find out. Let's dive into the testing. All right, guys, now that we finish our live streaming test, let's go ahead and go over the results and then we'll dive into some live gameplay so you guys can see uh, what everything looks like with all the streaming gear and stuff like that. So first up with the RX 7600, we're running the AMD hardware encoder, which first of all, caused a bit of stutter in games like Warzone. You'll see the finals gameplay here in a minute, but Warzone was a bit stuttery, not a great experience. And when we look back at the footage afterwards, the footage you're seeing here, there was some random artifacting popping up. For whatever reason, the AMD encoder, whether it's the codec -y uses for the final video file or whatnot caused some weird issues here and there. The final live stream looked fine and all our viewers were saying it looked great. So not really sure what was going on there. But again, AMD hardware tech is slowly getting better in live streaming. It's not necessarily ideal for live streaming, but it does have some issues because of that. So let's go and cut to the finals gameplay. I will say Warzone was OK. It wasn't great, but definitely the stutters would make it very hard for a competitive game to really enjoy it. Let's cut to the finals gameplay and show you guys what that looks like. And then we'll switch over to the RTX 4060 GPU. Hey guys, how's it going? Now you hear me. How's it going? I'm just put on direct monitor. Hello. You know, this audio gear is awesome. It's like so simple, yet so powerful. You could do so much with it. And um, entry level streaming, as long as you learn how to use this stuff, it's it's nice. Which the noise reduction is on right now. Hey. I'm ready to game. Now your friends in Discord might hate this, but you know, I mean, this, this is noise. Doesn't make your aim any better though. Wish we could like uh, put one of these in between like our uh, one in the stream or in the office for like the marathon stream. We could like change people's yeah. mics without even telling them. What's up, buddy? Yeah. We're almost there. Please don't end this for me. Who's shooting at me? No! Oh my god! Shotgun shot. Not halftime. I wanted to be a part of it. Aw. Hey, hey, the finals. Not bad. It was super smooth, guys. I think it looks pretty smooth for you guys. And I'm hoping, at least your point of view, it looks pretty smooth. All right, guys, now that we've shown you guys the RX 7600 gameplay, let's go ahead and switch over to the RTX 4060 and show you guys what the live streaming experience is like. And of course, in NVIDIA fashion, the live streaming experience is a lot better, much better playback. We didn't have that weird bug with the final video file. It was super smooth. It worked great, but we did get less FPS with the RTX 4060 while live streaming than the RX 7600, which does make sense because the RX 7600 is a faster GPU versus the RTX 4060. But it's important to mention that, yes, if you do go with the RTX 4060, you can live stream and have a better experience. As you can see in Warzone, it's much smoother and we'll get to the finals here in a second. But the RX 7600, if you're just a pure gamer who wants to live stream on the side, will get you the best performance and bang for the buck. So ultimately it's up to you guys to decide. Let's go and run the finals gameplay live action so you guys can see fully what the RTX 4060 is capable of in live streaming. And then we'll come to a conclusion on which one is the best option. 4060 seems to be running smoothly so far. Yes, Leo, it does seem to be running pretty smooth. I think the overall FPS is lower, but for streaming, it seems to be much smoother. But it might be similar to what we saw in the other one when we did the 3050, it was running smoother. The 6600 was actually a faster GPU still also, but with the 3050, it was having a much smoother streaming experience. You're probably gonna get the same thing here. We will only see once we get in. Also, I did lower the uh, desktop audio a lot because I listened to the recording and it was a little loud. Not bad. Slightly different map, but yeah, no, it's pretty close. I think we're getting like 120 or something like that. So yeah, it's probably handling all this foliage much better. Oh, FPS definitely dropped there. Oh, oh, press. 
You take fire. Oh, come on. Goodness, there was a lot happening. Yeah, buddy. Oh, goodness. Oh. Bounce. Sudden death, take back control. If they cross over the line, it's over. Aww. We tried, team. We tried. But hey, the finals. I haven't seen the recording yet, but it looks like it was a smoother experience. Lower FPS, but a smoother streaming experience. Let's go ahead, look at all the footage we got, and see which is the best for AMD versus Intel at 750 bucks for live streaming. But shout out again to Mono for all this awesome streaming gear. I feel like I need to send it home. Whoa. <laughs> that was probably really. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking two GPUs inside of this system here, which was a pretty good test candidate. And the results, you know, were pretty cool, actually. AMD has come a long way. We always tell you guys, just go to NVIDIA if you're gonna stream. Don't even question it. But theoretically, if you do really like AMD, you're not too far off from an NVIDIA card these days. And I will say, I was incredibly impressed at the $750 price point. A little bit more if you go with the 4060. You can get a full-fledged, awesome streaming PC, single PC streaming, and really have no problems whatsoever. So I guess our recommendation does stay. If you wanna have better streaming performance over just raw GPU performance, the 4060 is definitely worth it, but if you primarily game with some streaming on the side, you can't go wrong with the RX 7600 in this build. And if you want to build either configuration, check the link in the description down below. They will be a fill links and they will help us out. Let us know which one you would go with if you're building a $750 gaming PC. And big shout again to Mono for sponsoring this video. If you are live streaming, you're not using Mono gear, what are you doing? Use Mono stuff using the links down below. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stream. And if you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Now, Jonah just made a good point. PCBros.tech actually has pre configured builds with a 4060 or a 7600, or honestly, if you just wanted to go like 4070 Super, we got those too. Or you could buy this one. As long as it's available on the mm -hmm. website, we got a lot of PCs to choose from. Go to PCBros.tech, use code Toasty Bros on checkout to save 3% of your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.